acting for him. Radius ran through the darkness. Next will be the right to reach the king. Another nightly right angle of 90. At least the, the last angle will be easy, he gasped. He was wrong. In the dim light, he came across four corridors, which all seemed to be right angles. Fingers fumbling, he measured quickly with the medallion. 90, 90, 90, and 90 again. Slow down, Radius told himself and measure once more. He carefully lined up the medallion and read the numbers. The first angle was 93. Too big, he said. Too big, he said. Um, the next angle is 85. Too small. The third one is 89. Almost right, he said. Then there was a great whooshing sound of thick smoke and filled the tunnel. And thick smoke filled the tunnel. Um, Radius caught inside the dark was caught inside the great um, a dark cloud. Coughing and sputtering, he felt his way along the remaining corridor. I hope this is the one. He whispered, "Thump, thump, thump." Something was lurching toward him. He stumbled. Suddenly, Radius ran into the wall of stone. He was trapped. The thumping grew louder. Whatever it was, it was big and it was right behind him. Radius turned around and stood with his back to the wall. His arm bumped into a latch, a handle. He pushed with his strength and the door swung open. Brilliant sunshine met his eyes. Welcome, a voice bellowed. Who might you be? Radius squinted into the brightness. I am Radius, son of Circumference and Lady Di of Amateur, and the squire to Sir Degrees. I am searching for King Lel. It seems you have found him, chuckled the king. But how did you do it? Radius bowed. My medallion helped me figure out which paths to take. Knowledge gave me the courage to keep going, he explained. But there were frightful things in there. Ooh. A whimpering came from behind the door. King Lel opened it wider. Radius jumped back. Dragons, he gulped. A pair of them. They are my loyal pets. The, Le the Lel dragons, explained the king. He, he scratched their heads. The poor beasts and I were trapped in a maze by my evil cousins, Zig and Zag. But now we are free. And you have found the way through the labyrinth. Young squire, he continued, Anyone brave enough and smart enough to figure out that maze deserves his knighthood. Ooh. With Radius's medallion, they easily found their way back through the maze. Backwards. To celebrate King Lel's freedom, invitations were sent to all the neighboring knights and ladies. Circumference, Lady Di, and uh, Lady Di of Amateur, and even old Sir Degrees came. Radius and King Lel met in the moat to greet each group of guests. When King Lel whistled and called out, Pair of Lels, the two dragons stretch across the moat, side by side. They became a living drawbridge for the guests to cross. Everyone asked Radius how he had find his, found his way through the maze. I discovered the secret of the medallion, Radius said. The numbers divide a circle into 360 parts. I can use those parts to measure any angle. I call the parts of a circle degrees. In honor of my teacher, Sir Degrees. Radius drew a picture of his medallion and took an arrow from his quiver. Let's say this arrow points to the hallway. The number shows how many degrees are in the angle. A right angle measures 90 degrees. A straight line measures 180 degrees. 
I call angles bigger than 90 degrees obtuse after the mountains of obtuse. Angles smaller than 90, I call acute as they look like the roofs of a small village I traveled to. King Lao told Radius to kneel. For your bravery and intelligence, I knight you, Sir Radius, the king proclaimed. From this day forth, let this kingdom be called Angleland. Banners will fly on every castle tower. They shall show nightly right angles of 90 degrees, small acute angles, large obtuse angles, and straight angles of 180 degrees. Rise now, great knight of Angleland, the crowd cheered, and Radius rose to greet them. Angleland was the only kingdom to have a castle with a living drawbridge. The cry Pair of Lels brought the two, doesn't that sound like parallel? Hmm. Brought the two dragons over the moat. They became so famous that today parallel means straight lines side by side, the same distance apart, like the Lel dragons. Angoland is still um, there on very old maps, but today we call it. England. Thank you, Miss McDevitt. Welcome, bye.